Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about when to signal on a mini roundabout and when not to signal on a mini roundabout. Many learners, they get confused when to signal and they actually get confused when we say you don't have to signal as you are coming off the roundabout and they get confused when to signal and when not to signal. So in this video, I'd like to make it clear to you when to signal on a mini roundabout and when not to signal on a mini roundabout. Let's start the lesson. So in this video, like I said, we are talking about signaling on mini roundabouts. When to signal and when not to signal. Many learners, they get confused when we say on a mini one, as you come off, you don't have to signal. So many learners, they get confused. When is it that we don't signal? Because if we don't, are we going to fail for that? So let's understand what do we mean by not signaling as you come off on a mini roundabout, okay? Don't get confused with a mini one and a normal one. Remember, we are talking about here mini one where there is no space or it has less space because it's small. It is mini because it is small, okay? So let's say you are coming here and you want to go first except left here. This is your car, you want to go left you would signal as you approach. On a mini one, on a normal one, you do as the same. As you're approaching to go left, you signal as you approach, you look at the mirrors, you put the signal on, look on your right and you go left. As normal, same as normal roundabout. To go straight, this is where the problem is for the mini one or something you need to understand. So you're coming here and you want to go second exit straight. So this is first, this is straight second exit. This is your car here. Now for you to go straight, the general rule on roundabouts is to go straight, you don't signal on approach. You signal as you leave or as you are coming off the roundabout. Okay, this rule is for mini roundabout and normal roundabout. So this is you, you want to go straight second exit. No signal, when you come to the middle here, this is when you should be signaling to come off. This is the general rule. But because it's a small one and it doesn't have this space, it is too tiny. By the time you come here, you are already coming off. So you don't need to signal. So number one, because the space is too small and by the time you signal, your car is already out. So who are you signaling for? You don't need to signal because you're already coming off. That's number one. Number two, if you did try to signal and if you lose your control of your car because you're trying to steer and signal same time, you might lose the control of your car and because of that, you will fail your test. Okay, so let me make that clear. Number one, you don't signal because you are already out because it's too small. And number two, if you did try to signal, you're trying to steer and signal at the same time, you probably will lose the control of your car and you will fail your test for that. Does that make sense? I hope you understand why, okay? I hope it makes sense. Now, what if, now the question is, what if I did signal and I didn't lose the control? Is that mean I'm gonna fail? No, you won't fail for that. It's not like if I did signal, it's illegal and I'm gonna fail, no. If you did signal, and you didn't lose the control of your car, that's fine, it's okay, you're not gonna fail for that. But my question is, because you don't have to signal, because you might mislead someone by signaling, because if there's another road here, and you are signaling because your car is already out, car behind might think you want to go in there, and they might try to overtake. Does it make sense? So it doesn't actually make sense for you to signal anyway, as your car is already coming off. Make sense? Going right, third exit or fourth exit. So for you to go right on a mini one or normal roundabout, you signal right here, okay? So mini one, you signal right here and you go on the roundabout. And as you are coming off on your here, that's where you meant to signal. But because like I said, it's small, same as here, you don't have to signal because you are already coming off. Two reasons, one is too tiny. Another is because you might lose the control of your car. Okay, so coming off, you don't signal. To go left, you signal here. To go straight, no signal, no signal. To go right, signal here, no signal. To go right here, signal here, and no signal here to come off. 
Does it make sense? So I hope this makes it clear to you when to signal and when not to signal. I've got now a few roundabouts coming up. I'm gonna mini roundabout, we're gonna go right on this mini roundabout. Mirror, mirror, signal right. This is a mini roundabout, go right on this mini roundabout. Slow down, look on my right. Is the car coming? I'm gonna stop, first gear. Another car coming, they're going the other way. Now coming off on a mini roundabout, I don't have to signal because there is no space. And if I do try to signal, I could lose the control of my steering and that could be a fail. So be careful, okay? Left on this roundabout, mirror, mirror, signal left, left here. Go look on my right early. Is there any car coming? Do I have to stop? I don't have to stop. Okay, good. Another mini roundabout coming up. Second exit, straight. On this mini roundabout, second straight. Watch if I signal as I'm coming off. Mirror, mirror. No signal on approach because I'm going straight. Look on my right. And I go round. And as I come off, mirror, mirror, I don't have to signal because I am already out. Okay? If you are learning and you need help on learning and passing the driving test, don't forget to take the advantage of our online course. The course gives everything a learner needs to learn to drive and to pass the driving test. It has everything a learner needs. I will leave a link on the description for you to have a look. Have a look and see and read. And if you like it, you could always join the course. Thank you for watching. Please do give a thumbs up if you like the video and please do make a comment what you think of the video. Also, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Hope to see you again on the next video. Bye for now.